Hi, we're Stan and Rhonda from Over the Hill Adventures, and today we're going to start a small series on why our viewers are flocking to Arizona for the winter. And we'll be right back. Well, welcome back to Over the Hill Adventures. When half the RVers in the country are heading to Florida for the winter, the other half is heading to Arizona. But why? Well, as you might, may know, we have our home base in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And we are part-time RVers, and we enjoy it here so much. We love it here in the winter. We came from s snow, and we traded the snow for heat, yes, but here in the winter is amazing. So I would say the number one reason. Temperature. Temperature. The weather is amazing. The average temperatures here from January to March are anywhere from, respectively, I'm going to look at my notes, is 66 to 79 degrees. Absolutely. And it's kind of, kind of uh, neat how that happens because you have January, it's in the 60s. February, it's in the 70s. Uh, March, it's you know, gets 75, High 70, yeah. and, 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 and the weather is just perfect. So we get people, um, RVers, from all over the country that are um, in super, super cold weather. I mean, Alberta, Canada is here already. Yeah, the, the, the snowbirds flock here for sure in the winter. We get 300 days of sunshine every year. Yeah. And the rain in the winter time is about, I mean, in, from January to March, about four days, if that, of rain. So it really is a perfect, perfect environment. Yeah, it comes with, with the dry heat and, and the way it is. It really is nice and it appears that we don't have the bugs that you may have yeah. in the uh, If we did, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I don't like bugs at all. Here in Lake Havasu, there's something for everyone. I mean, uh, and this is why we're doing a small series, just for the simple fact that there is so much to do here. So much. Um, one of the main things we enjoy is mountain biking. There's there's hiking. There is uh, fishing and golfing. And those of you who like pickleball, we have a multitude of pickleball courts. There's walking trails galore. If you don't want to be out in the desert hiking, there's walking trails. So a lot of the RVers that come to Lake Havasu for the winter bring their side-by-sides. And this is an absolute paradise for off-roading. Off yeah, there are the desert's right there, and there's just countless miles of trails. And uh, ran into a whole slew of folks that were on their way from here to Needles, California. I mean, how far is that? Yeah, and they're all going through the <laughs> desert like and they're just enjoying 40 it. 40 miles. And they are over the hill adventures. Yeah. So another huge draw to Lake Havasu are the special events that we hold out here in the wintertime. You've all heard about the Quartzsite RV show. Well, millions, almost, well, I don't know, 750,000 to a million people come to the Quartzsite RV show. Yeah, every year. Now that's not in Havasu, but Havasu is, I would say, give, where, depending where you're at, an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to Quartzsite. And that's really something to think about because there is no essentials in Quartzsite. I think there's only like one store. We've got plenty of gas stations, mm -hmm. but if you need to dump or do anything like that, it makes it very, very difficult yeah. because of so many people unless you have a full hookup site. Well, and we didn't get on board. We were interested in possibly staying down there and we didn't bite, you know, bite on quick enough and we didn't get a site. So if you yeah. don't, if you can't, you know, you're interested in going and you want to camp, um, I guess there's boondocking down there, but if you want an RV site, I good luck to you because you're probably not going to find one. So the Quartzsite RV show runs from January 22nd until January 30th of 2022. They do have it every year, but this year it's uh, those are the specific dates. Right. And we're going to head down there again, right? And check it yeah, out. Yeah, we're going to do a little peek and uh, we're going to check out the RV show. Not so sure if we're going to hit the big tent, but just remember, um, Lake Havasu is only an hour away from Quartzsite. So right. this may be a point of destination yeah. from to go from here and uh, head over to, to Quartzsite. Yeah, and, and stay tuned because we do tend to show you some free BLM camping that's just outside of Havasu 
and uh, that gets you a little closer to the court site uh, RV show. Another special event that we hold every January here in Lake Havasu is the Balloon Festival. It's not as big as the one in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but it is a big, big balloon festival. Just like every balloon festival, it, they have vendors, they have balloon rides, um, they have mass ascensions, they have the glow at night, all those things that you expect from a balloon festival. Yes, and this year it runs from January 20th to the 23rd, and we're going to put all the links to these events in the description so you can check it out and make a decision. Um, it is, there are ticket, you know, fees to get in, but it's, it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. They even have a 5K run that you can sign up for. I think there's classic cars. Uh, they do not allow your pets, so you have to leave them behind. But it is a, it's, it's worth getting in. And, and there's a lot of people. And I think once you get in, they give you your little band, and it's good for all day and into the evening. So there's live entertainment, all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, next, we want to talk about what to do in Arizona in Lake Havasu City. There's so much. We could sit here for hours and tell you all, all the things to do, but we're going to share one of our favorite places with you, and that's Sarah Park, and it stands for Special Activities and Recreation Area. I'm glad you got that right this time, Rhonda. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tongue twister. It, it, it's a mouthful. <laughs> it's just south of the actual Lake Havasu City, but on the edge of the city, and it's in close proximity. And it is one of uh, our favorite places to go. Actually, I should say it's one of the dog's favorite places to go. And uh, we head to the dog park almost daily. They do have a little dog park. They have a big dog park there. And it's, it's great. They, the dogs love it. We mountain bike. So there's miles of trails out there. Trails that will take you right down to the lake. And we've done videos in the past of, of some of those trails. Right. You can't have anything that's motorized. Uh, um per se like a side by side but you can um, ride your e-bikes e there yeah. and it, that that is just a wonderland for e-bikes yeah there's frisbee golf out there they've recently put in a new frisbee golf course and i think it's just still in the works but it's it looks like a lot of people are having fun and and they do enjoy that in the winter not something you want to do in the summertime they have the rodeo grounds mm -hmm. out there, which speaking of special events, they have special events constantly and throughout the, the winter. RC planes, uh, they actually have a really super neat uh, runway for RC planes, um, if you're into that. There is shooting and archery out there. And then they also have um, Havasu Raceway. Yeah, the Speedway that's out there. And that is, um, they do stock car races. And there's, uh, I believe, out of there during the winter on the weekends, they do the winter blast fireworks display out there. So, which we can see from here, you know, yeah. uh, but it's, you know, something fun that you may enjoy. One of the biggest draws <laughs> to Sarah Park is the hiking. And we were able to indulge ourselves in an awesome, awesome hike. And one of the reasons why we like hiking is just the need, you get to meet the neatest people while you're hiking. And they're from all ages to young and old and some serious over the hill adventures. And we're going to roll a clip because we hiked it yesterday. And if you think you're too old to hike, wait till you see this. So we're on our way to Sarah's crack. <laughs> Sounds a little intrusive, but there's a crack that you go through and you have to maneuver some obstacles, you know, get through, go down a really steep little part of rock, and then somebody put a rope out there. It's kind of neat. It's about a mile from the parking lot. We've only done it, I don't know, maybe a handful of times, but it's a nice hike, especially, like I said, now during the, during the winter time. In front of us, it's called Lizard Peak. And the reason why it's called that is because once you get to the top, there's a table up there, and if you look down, there's a lizard in rocks. But it's the highest point in Sarah's Park, and you can see everything from there. I'm terrible at directions, but Stan was telling me, and I remembered, this rock is the landmark where you're gonna turn off to go to the Lizard Peak. Um, Which is, goes up through there, and then you end up on the top of that. You can see that. We're There's kind of at a fork in the road, right? So if we're going to continue on straight to the left over here, and then you would go off to the right. Yeah. Yes? That's correct. And that'll take you up to Lizard Peak. 
And off you go to Lizard Peak. And off you go to Sarah's Crack. Oh, okay. Might not be pretty though. <laughs> no guarantees. No guarantees. For the escalator. Yeah. You go down just like that just like this yeah go down that way too you just go definitely down that way. You just feel how it feels if you don't like the way it feels then come back up we've done before we just slid on our fanny uh i i that's what i was kind of saying hang on to that and just slide down you guys are over the hill adventurers over the hill yeah that's well that's way over the hill <laughs> oh, i told my dad first so if no, you fall i don't I want you going not, not today. i'm gonna go if you go i'm coming so you you decide okay, you what, know what you want to do. I'm going to go to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Just in case. Is it better to go this way or this way? Well, you can go really slow. Go forward if you're going to slide. If you're going. If you're going to slide, get on your bum. There you go. There you go. Nice and slow. Keep, keep your shoes down. There you go. There you go. Now don't. No, no. Yeah, let's we'll see how you feel. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay, I don't want you to hurt Ooh, yourself. Good job. Oh. Wow. I just don't want you to hurt oh. yourself. Nice. I, I was so hoping somebody would come. Dad, you want to feel what it feels like? Molly, no, now? you're going to stay. You're not coming. Let's get her to come yeah. back up. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, come on. We'll come back up at the same time. I'll, I'll help you. He, he's going to come stay here and help us. All right. He, he has. I just don't know how much traction I got with these shoes. Which way are you gonna go? I'm gonna go backwards. I think. Are you strong on your arms? Yeah, somewhat. All right, just lean back and trust the rope. Lean back, trust the rope. God, you got it. You got it. That's better than I did. That's that, you're, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Nice. There you go. Whoa. Good. Yeah. Wow, you guys. That is you so good? awesome. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we'll you can't do that. We're going to put a rope around your neck and drag you. <laughs> you got it. I'm going to catch you if you don't. There you go. Get her. There you go. Lean back. Arm Lean back. Arm. Next arm. Next arm. There you go. I got it. There you go. Stay leaning back. Lean got back. a girl. There you go. Okay. There. Oh. Oh god. I got you. Ah. Whoa. You got it. Come on. <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> come off that edge, girl. I can't believe it. Woo! I got some Wait, pictures. We're not going to be able to do this when they come again. Wow. Okay. I got some pictures. I'm gonna have to get, get you your ready. number. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get your number because I gave you your oh, phone back. Oh, thank you. Uh oh, let's go back and see if we get your hubby. Yeah, pretty decent. Come on, baby. Oh, Stay down, I know. You're happy for me too. Huh? Attaboy. Molly, Molly, come here. Good girl. There you go. Keep going. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. No, 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 don't go down. Don't go down. I know, but my shoes are slippery. That's right. I got you. I got you. There you go. Can you get back up on your? Your feet? Yeah, I'm better off to do it this way. Okay. All right. I'm pulling you. All right, here we go. I wonder if I can grab it. He's on. Oh. All right. Oh, honey. Yeah. I got Thank you, you sir. Yeah, no worries. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. They talked you down yeah. off that ledge. <laughs> well, that'll be an experience yeah. of a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you matter. You're going to need the ice. You're going to help. Please. Wow. Well, that was fun. We met Dick and Rosa from Ohio. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Are you inspired? I am so inspired. Rosa is 80 years old. Hope she doesn't mind us telling this, but she's up here hiking and climbing like a... So I, I, inspirational. It gets me nervous to go up and down those, those obstacles, and she's out there and willing to give it a try. That was incredible. And then she said Dick had... Uh, Hip surgery? 
What's that? Dick had just had hip surgery yeah. recent. He's out here doing this. Their, their motto is don't sit still, you know? Just keep going. And, and they're from Ohio, not too far away from our son out there. And they're RVers too, so. I can only hope to be their age. Yeah, but that's what it's all about. And, and they're out here experiencing exactly what we're trying to show you guys. Like, what do you do out here in the wintertime? Summer is easy, no brainer. Yeah. Go on the lake. But here, what the heck do you do? That's what we're here for. So now we're gonna talk about where to camp. And that's probably the most important. And to be quite honest, most of the RV um, resorts that are within the city limits of Lake Havasu have already been booked for several months or even up to a year. So now the question is, if you were just planning to come, where do you go? We went and visited some BLM land that's on the south end of Lake Havasu, off of the 95. We're gonna give you the location uh, with a little pinpoint or a drop pin of where this, these areas are where you can actually boondock. There is a massive power line tower that's kind of your landmark. So that'll be yeah. uh, where you, you turn off to go. And if lake views are your thing, this is the place because we uh, scouted out several spots that had lake views from their campsite. There are fire pits already there. Um, yes, you need to be real careful when going in there because, you know, of the rocks and stuff. Bumpy road. But man, the views from this boondocking spot is just incredible. And it's just down the way from State Park Cattail, Cattail Cove. Cove. Yeah, and so that we got to check out yesterday as well. And that's pretty fantastic. That place has 61 RV sites. Uh, RV and camping, I guess you could do either one, but we're talking about RVing right now. So RV sites in 57 of those sites are 30 amp mm -hmm. and the other four have 50 amp. And, um, and just like every state park, you know, y you have to make reservations, mm -hmm. but just remember folks, there's always cancellations. Right. And um, you can make those reservations on azstateparks.com. Once again, we'll put that in the description below. Um, or you can call them and just speak to a live person, which sometimes is a lot easier. Um, unreserved sites are first come, first serve, you know, but I think at this point in the wintertime, pretty much all of them were full, mm -hmm. it appears so. And then it's electric and water only. And I think the few that we saw that may have had the sewer were like maybe the hosts, the camp hosts. Yeah. There's trails nearby right there. Hiking uh, trails. Very dog friendly area. There's actually a dog beach that you can walk down yep, to. Yep, yep, yep. And don't forget, if you're kayakers and you fish mm. with your kayak, um, there's a launch ramp boat right launch. there. Yep. And if you're one of those RVers that can um, connect your boat to your RV, which I've seen, you can launch fishing. your boat there. And, and go, go fishing. And right now, right there by where Cactail Cove is, is Parker Dam. And it's super, super hot spot for striper bass. There you go. And then the sandy beach, which I would prefer to just be sitting on <laughs> while he's fishing. You can go fish all you want. I'm going to sit on the sandy beach. And yesterday, the weather was amazing. It's like almost 70 degrees, yeah. I think, if not 70. And there were just people sitting out on the sandy beach on the you know, the lakefront and just enjoying uh, the views and the weather, it's perfect. You know, the weather is perfect, Rhonda, and, and, and why go anywhere? And that's one of the reasons why we're doing this series in our own backyard, so you guys can see and experience why people are coming here. And you know, Lake Havasu is in the western part of the Arizona state, just on the other side of the Colorado River is California. Yeah, and it's considered Arizona's playground. So, and you can see why after everything we've shared. And we do look forward to sharing more. We've got some upcoming exciting. Uh, actually today, we're gonna head out and we're gonna go to the bunker bar in so, the desert, wherever that is. So make sure you watch our uh, next series because um, we're gonna keep on exploring on what is to offer here in Lake Havasu for the winter RVer. Yeah, and we have some more BLM sites that we want to share with you and where those are located, kind of more on the northern side of Havasu. And uh, I think that that's a wrap. So if you like what, our, what, what you're seeing here today, please subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, 
and ring that bell. <laughs> and ring that bell if you want to uh, get notified of our next video. All right. Well, thank you. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions after watching this, please reach out. Please comment. We do answer all of our comments and we enjoy thoroughly reading them and hearing from you, finding out what your adventures are and connecting with you. So thank you so much. God bless. Until the next time. <laughs>